If you're like most people, you've noticed that there's been an increase in robocalls to your mobile phone over the last couple of years. Personally, I get around a dozen of these spam calls each week. Not only are they annoying, most of these calls are from scammers looking to rip you off. Other than blocking numbers individually, which can be time consuming, I will show you five useful apps for both Android and iOS that can help with block robocalls, unwanted text messages, along with other types of calls from telemarketers. Let's get started. These won't be in any particular order, but we'll start out with my personal favorite, which is Should I Answer? which has a large database built up by their community where users can anonymously rate and review numbers based on real phone calls. When you receive an incoming call, it will show you the rating of that number, the category, which in this instance is a scam call, along with the community ratings. Green is positive, yellow is neutral, and red is negative. When looking at your call logs, tapping on any phone number will take you to the screen where you can choose to block that number, give it a rating, and check out other reviews from the community. Let's take a quick look at the settings. On iOS and Android, when you're not using a third-party app, your options are limited. With Should I Answer, there are several settings that you can change. Here at the top, I choose to leave all of the notifications turned on. Below that, in the blocking section, you can choose the Community Database Sensitivity. The default is Standard Protection, which has a low possibility of false positives. Below that, you can choose the type of incoming calls that you would like to block. I choose to turn all of these on, except for numbers not stored in contacts and foreign numbers. For block outgoing calls, I leave these turned off. But if you share your phone with others, you might want to turn some of these on. To block SMS and MMS, this requires a compatible SMS manager. They recommend QK SMS. If you have an issue with spam messages, you might want to install this app and enable the message blocking features in the Should I Answer settings. Should I Answer does not upload your contacts and it works offline. On Android, it's my top recommendation. It's completely free and has a rating of 4.8. On iOS, it's a different story. If you want to use the full service, it costs $1.99 per month. Understandably, iPhone users are not happy about this and that's reflected in the overall review score. Next up is Haya. I'll move through the rest of these quickly. They're all easy to set up and user-friendly. Haya being one of the most popular and well-known call blockers, it features one of the largest databases containing hundreds of millions of numbers. If you're on iOS, this is my recommendation for you. They do offer a premium version, but it's not needed to take advantage of the key features. Whether you're on Android or iOS, be advised that Haya does collect a lot of information. On a positive note, they don't sell your phone information to third parties. Haya also owns another app available in both stores called Mr. Number. They're essentially the same app with all the same features. So if you have any issues running Haya on your phone, you might want to try Mr. Number instead. TrueCaller, available for both iOS and Android, is the most used call blocking app. It works great and has a huge database with millions of users. But it's the absolute worst on this list for privacy. It collects a massive amount of personal information and unlike the other apps mentioned, it shares that data with third parties. Even though it's a useful app for blocking calls, I can't recommend TrueCaller based on its privacy issues. Call Control is another great app for blocking calls with a huge database of users. It features a simplistic user interface, and its lookup tool for checking suspicious numbers is very useful. It's available for both Android and iOS. Another call blocker app that's popular with many users is Calls Blacklist. In addition to the familiar features, it allows you to create a blacklist and whitelist inside the app. The free version of Calls Blacklist is ad supported. Their paid version, Calls Blacklist Pro, for $1.99, removes the ads and offers password protection. If you're concerned about privacy with so many call blocking apps for you to choose from, I'd highly recommend that you read over the privacy policy of any app before you install. The reason I use Should I Answer is simple. It offers one of the best privacy policies of any call blocking app. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. 
give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. If you haven't done so already, share this video with others, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date with the latest tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.